Hi, all the students of Narayana 9th standard. Uh, today, your assignment is, uh, I am in front of you all to discuss the assignment number 23, uh, which is going to be from the topic of center of mass and collisions. Let us go with the first question of your assignment. The first question of the assignment is, uh, there is a cylindrical, uh, a cylinder is completely filled with water. You take a cylinder and you fill it with water and uh, suddenly you put a hole under it and water will flow out. When water is flowing out, let us imagine it is been like 1 by 4th of the water is split out. When 1 by 4th of water is uh, gone out, it is leaked outside, then the center of mass obviously comes down, right? So it moves down. So the option over here is 2. Second option, right? Let us go for the next question. Next question is... So the second question over here, uh, a uniform meter stick, let us take this as a stick, is placed vertically on a horizontal frictionless surface and released. As the stick is in motion, the center of mass moves. Again the same, vertically downwards. The center of mass moves vertically downwards when it is slipping from a frictionless uh, floor. It, the vertically, it, it moves vertically downwards, right? So the option is 2. Hope this is helpful. Let us go for next question, which is your third question. So let us think this is your third question. And in this third question, this third question, a shell, that means you can think a shell, uh, this is what you can think a shell. Shell, you have some mass inside it, a bulky matter which is present. The shell is thrown vertically upwards. The shell at a certain height is just uh, at a particular point, it explodes into two equal fragments. The center of mass of two fragments is, the center of mass of these two fragments will be in the middle, but what happens is after reaching to a certain height, it just falls like a freely falling body. Then it, its initial velocity is going to be zero. So falls down with an initial speed, uh, with, with an initial speed of zero. So the option over here is third option, falls down with zero initial velocity. Let us go with the next question. Next question. When you go with this next question, planets moving around the sun and each planet having satellites moving around them is an example of. Obviously, it is a non-rigid uh, system because you don't have a particular radius and fixed radius, it doesn't move around the sun. The radius keeps on changing. That means the, uh, the, uh, the rigidity is changing. If the rigidity is same, that means all the dimensions have to be same. When the dimensions are not particularly fixed, like the elliptical shape is coming, that indicates that it is a non-rigid system. So the option is 2. Let us go with this next question. I hope this is helpful. Let us go with the next question. So the next question. Choose the wrong statement. In case of small bodies, the wrong statement you have to choose. In the case of small bodies, center of mass and center of gravity coincide with each other. Yeah, obviously, in case of small bodies, center of mass and center of gravity obviously stay at the same fixed point. They coincide. Most probably it coincides. So not most probably, it almost coincides. So it is, first one is correct. So it's not a wrong statement. So let us go for the next statement. In non-uniform gravitational uh, field, center of mass and center of gravity will not coincide with each other. Obviously, they don't co coincide with each other because when gravity changes automatically, the center of gravity changes, but center of mass doesn't change. Center of gravity changes, but center of mass of the body depends upon the bulky matter of the body. So, there will be no coincidence, there, there will be a change, like center of gravity might change, but uh, center of uh, mass doesn't change, okay? In non-uniform gravitational field, center of mass and center of gravity, they don't coincide because they change, keep on changing. Right? Uh, so, if it is a non-uniform motion, a non-uniform gravitational field, that, that is also a correct statement. So, we can't tick that. Let us go with the third point. Center of mass is independent of acceleration due to gravity. Uh, sorry, center of mass is independent of acceleration due to gravity. Mm. But center of gravity depends on acceleration due to gravity. 
so coming to this third point, you, it's a little tricky can, type of thing. Center of mass is independent of acceleration due to gravity, but center of gravity is uh, dependent upon acceleration due to gravity. That's a perfect thing. Center of mass, if you observe here, center of mass is independent of acceleration due to gravity. That means g, small g. It doesn't depend. Center of mass will never depend upon the center of acceleration due to gravity. Uh, but uh, the center of gravity, it obviously depends upon acceleration due to gravity. It depends. Def definitely it depends. Right? So, that statement is also true. That statement also true. You are comparing center of mass and uh, center of mass and center of gravity with acceleration due to gravity. Well, this is not going to depend and this is going to depend. That is perfect. So, this is also perfect. So, you don't have to uh, mark it out because that is also a correct statement. Let us go for the fourth statement. Center of mass describes the stability of the body whereas center of gravity describes the nature of motion of the body. Actually, that is a wrong statement. So, we have a wrong statement at the fourth option. Center of mass describes the stability of the body whereas center of gravity describes the nature of motion of the body that's a wrong statement so it doesn't uh, it is not the stability of the body center of mass is not going to denote the stability of the body and the center of gravity doesn't describe the nature and motion of the body so option four is a wrong option so your answer is fourth option right hope this is helpful for you let us meet in the next assignment until then bye